What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel today. We're installing the seat brackets onto the Corbo seats and we're getting the Corbo seats put in the 350Z. So super excited. Really, really pumped about it. Doing it inside because the wife is gone and it is hot as balls outside. So here we go. Welcome to the kitchen. Just trying to figure out the best, just trying to figure out the best way to do this. Got the seat kind of on its face on the island. Uh, got some nice seat brackets from Corbo as well. I didn't expect them to put sliders on, so I really, really appreciate that. And if I, you guys haven't been following along, you know that Corbo jumped on as a sponsor for the 350Z project. So uh, these seats, they really hooked me up with the seats and the brackets and the harnesses. Uh, this is going to be sick. So let's get started with the installation. Uh, it looks like they included the hardware. It's just, they're, these are just, just in here. Here's to be a six Allen. These seats are pretty lightweight. I'm gonna try to weigh them once I get the seat brackets on them and compare them to the factory seats and also the Sparco seat, but really heavy duty frame. The construction is really solid. So, you know, the seat is going to be secure itself. Uh, a little extra spring for support in the bottom. I do like that they wrap these here too with some of this plastic material just to keep things from squeaking and making weird noises. They really they really do a good job with these seats. This is good stuff and I love this carbon fiber texture. Vinyl on the back, so sick. Obviously the slider pole, the handle, goes toward the front and it goes between the bracket and the seat. Don't want to put this upside down. You really can't install this incorrectly, but well, I suppose you could. <laughs> uh, the holes line right up. Back these down, and we'll go throw this in the car. Hell yeah, bud. Does have the little seat belt notch as well. mess in here okay uh, before i install these corbo seats i want to do a little weight comparison we got the sparkle r100 we got the factory 350z seats and then we got the corbo buckets so we're going to get a baseline weight i think this calibrated yeah good zero baseline weight for myself just shy at 200 i don't know if you guys can see that like 198 we'll call it i'm just going to pick this seat up And it takes us to about 240. So 198 to 240, we'll just say 240. So that's about 42 pounds. Corbo is 42 pounds. Let's pick up the Sparco R100. This has got the bracket on it also. This is heavy. Exactly. Might even be a touch lighter. Okay. Touch lighter. I actually think I know why the R100 is a touch lighter. If you guys have been following along, you know I put that temporary Amazon seat bracket on. So the seat bracket is, it just is almost nothing. It's worthless. So it's very, very light. And I bet that is the one or two pound difference between the two. Definitely think so. All right, now let's do the factory seat. This is surprisingly light, actually. Factory seat. About the same as the R100. Huh. Maybe even a pound lighter than that. Interesting. So, 350Z racing seats, uh, going to aftermarket racing seats, at least the Corbo and the Spark R100, R100, not gonna be a weight savings for you, but we're not necessarily going for weight savings. Uh, we're going for security, right? So security, uh, fatigue resistance, uh, just keeping you in, in the seat. Like I said, the factory seats are a little bit too narrow in the back for me. So I wasn't actually able to sit all the way back. Um, but this one kind of holds me in nicely. I like the Spark R100 as well. Good bolstering and stuff. That's a good seat. But this is, you know, reclinable. It's just, it's good for... 
a vehicle you like a little, or yeah, it's good for being a seat that you want a little extra support in that you just kind of drive daily on the streets. I wouldn't necessarily have that be a, a track seat. I like the fix back for a car that you're gonna run at the track. Set right in. Bracket fits right in the place, then just tighten down your hardware. Beauty. I love clean carpets, hell yeah. Sit in there and see how you like the seats. First of all, they look really clean. What'd you say? They look really clean. Clean, cool, 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 cool. Okay. All right. Race carish? Yeah, I feel very secure. <laughs> you disappeared. Feel very secure. Yeah. They fit you good. Like I feel very safe. Well, you got one for the passenger side too. How I gotta get the harnesses in tonight, but. <laughs> like a roller coaster. All right. Thank you for testing him out. Easy to get out of. <laughs> Definitely. Oh gosh, these wheels look so good. Hopefully that is a little bit better. I think we can see it. Uh, we got the harness bar from Graffiti Motorsports installed. I purchased that through Injuku Racing if you guys are interested. Um, so we got our got a couple little bags of the belts themselves. And then we have the instructions from Corbo USA. I want to follow these because, you know, it's important. I guess these aren't really instructions. Just kind of tells us what the guidelines are um, but I just kind of process of elimination we have the lap belts here the shoulder straps and then the uh, anti-submarine belt the fifth mounting point <laughs> 